So Stripe, as you know, competitor to Square, they have customers including Uber, Lyft, and Target, massive payment processor, and they're getting into a completely new line of business, which is lending. So as you know, Square, PayPal, and even Amazon are already doing lending. And the idea is to get small businesses that already use Stripe as a platform to grow, give them capital, and as they grow, potentially Stripe's bottom line will grow and it'll help them in the end. So yeah, absolutely going up against Square. What kind of data do they have access to? Um, because it's their customer base, presumably, they could see how well they pay bills or how well their customers pay bills, et cetera. I mean, what, what sorts of, um, I don't know, proprietary sort of uh, lending criteria would they have? So because they're a payment platform, they're able to see transaction data. They can see how many times a day somebody is going into a coffee shop and swiping their credit card. They can sort of see the health of the business, which is something that Square has mentioned as far as not needing to use a FICO score. So none of these guys are using the traditional ways of seeing creditworthiness. They're using stuff on the back end and all this payment data. So you really have to have that in order to do this type of lending. So PayPal has it. Amazon has it. The banks don't really have it. So Stripe has an advantage there. There's also the risk of uh, lending to small businesses, which you guys know are usually the hardest hit in a recession. So certain analysts, when it comes to Square, have said, OK, what happens in a downturn? You're lending to a pretty vulnerable uh, group of people.